Hey everyone, in this lesson we would like to discuss uh, something which is called load estimation. Load estimation is really important in electrical design. So we will learn in this lesson what is meant by load estimation and why do we need load estimation. And in the next lesson we will have an excel sheet in order to know how can we do load estimation using it. Okay. So first we have to understand what is load estimation. Load estimation is simply means identifying the amount of load required in a building. Okay. So before we start any project, we start with load estimation in order to know how much electrical energy is required for a certain uh, building. So in order to do this, we do something which is called load estimation. This is just an estimation at the beginning of the project before we design anything. So it is used to identify nearly how much electrical power is required. And it should be close to what we will have after designing. Okay, so it is just an approximation or estimation for the load which we need in our system. Now, there are several reasons why do we need load estimation. The first reason is that the architect needs to know what I need as an electrical engineer uh, from rooms. Okay, how many rooms do I need as an electrical engineer and the minimum area of this room. Okay, so we need as an electrical engineer in our building, for example, we need electricity room for panels, generator room, and transformer room okay so we need a room for panels in each uh, floor and one generator room and one transformer room for the whole building so we have to in another video we will discuss the transformer room uh, and generator room sizing okay in order to uh, give information to the architect of the area required as an electrical engineer how much area do I need uh, from the architect to save in order to put the panels, the generator and transformer if we need a transformer. Also, we need to estimate how much electricity required in the building, how much uh, kilovolt ampere or megavolt ampere in order to know how many rooms and the size of the room required. Also, the, so that the architect will know all of the information about the electricity sector, okay? Another reason is that the owner needs to contact the electricity company before building the project and know if it is possible to provide this amount of power or not. So the owner, before it makes a contract with the electricity company, it should know how much electricity uh, will require inside the building okay so for example if i need one megavolt ampere in my own building then the owner will need to contact the electricity company and see if it is possible to provide this amount of power or not let's say you start designing you neglected the load estimation part and you started designing and identifying everything required in the building such as panels cables plans, rooms, uh, generator, transformer, and everything. And after all, you found that you need two megavolt ampere of power, as an example. Then the owner or you started contacting the electricity company and they told you that it is not possible to provide this amount of power. So you need for your own project to megavolt ampere after doing everything from panels, cables, and all of this. Now, after contacting, it told you that it is not possible to provide this amount of electricity. So in this case, you have consumed time, money, energy in designing. And the most important thing is money and time. So in the end, you will not be able to uh, build this project because you cannot have this amount of power from the uh, electricity uh, grid. Okay, so before we start designing and drawing all of this, we have to estimate our load. Okay, so that we don't consume or waste our time, money and energy in designing. 
So in order to avoid all of this, we start estimating the amount of load required before we design our project. Another reason is that we need to know what type of voltage required. Uh, do, we know, do we need in our project low voltage as a supply or medium voltage as supply? The low voltage and the medium voltage depending on the load itself, okay, the amount of load required. Because in case of a low voltage, then we will take our electrical power from the grid directly. However, if it is a high amount of power, then we will use medium voltage, then we will need to have a transformer in our building. So all of this is done using the load estimation. So also we need to know if we need a transformer or not, and this will depend on the um, electricity or the load required. Now, small projects or loads less than 400 kilovolt ampere will take power directly from the low voltage without any transformer. Okay. However, if we have a large product, uh, projects or uh, loads greater than 400 kilovolt ampere, then we will take our power from medium voltage. And in this case, we will need a transformer in our building, which means we will need a transformer room. Okay. So we have to do all of the load estimation in order to know what type of load, how much uh, electricity required, um, uh, the transformer room and generator room sizing. Um, also, um, if it is a small project or a large project to identify if we need a transformer or not, is it a low voltage or medium voltage and so on. All of this uh, is done by using load estimation. Load estimation will help us to know all of this information. Okay, so we are going to do in the next lesson the load estimation according to codes and standards.